Hey guys, what's up? Vixtronic here again, and today we're going to be playing a game called Off Peak. Now, from what I've read about it, it's supposed to be like artistic and kind of like very vague and like uh, based on surrealism. So I don't know how creepy or not this game is gonna be. <laughs> it's just supposed to be like you're like at a train station and you're trying to find uh, ticket pieces to be able to uh, go back home but the thing is is that there's a bunch of hidden pieces inside of this game uh, like you can find things and do stuff so um, it's not very long it's kind of a short game so let's go ahead and just look around and see what we can find um, Let's see, hopefully everything's going okay as far as like uh, my screen recording. So I think it should be alright. Let's see here. Okay, so this is the train I believe we came on. And it's also supposed to have some pretty good, um, like, a soundtrack with it. Like, uh, some music was made specifically for this game. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it is. I mean, already right off the bat, I do like the art style, like, of the game itself, the way that they've made it. So, oh, hi. <laughs> Look who it is. Okay. Yeah, slow subway. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> City is too much sometimes. And I know you want to get on the train to Rowayton? Rowayton? Well, you're in luck, my friend. I had a train ticket all ready to go. Marcus hooked it right up. I'm not going anywhere, so it's all yours. But I screwed up again. The train tickets in tatters. The pieces fell out of my jacket and scattered around the station. Believe me, I know train tickets aren't cheap these days. But you'll find the pieces. I know you gotta catch that train. I believe in you. Ha! And the people you meet here, they won't be able to help you directly. But they may still want to talk to you. Others, maybe not. In either case, you might find their musings insightful. Or not. The circus. What? <laughs> oh, I guess he's talking about something else now. <laughs> I was like, that's so random. Uh, the way they treat those giants. They're just happy to take that circus money. All that time and energy spent. What a waste. And people think I'm in a huff because the circus didn't ask me to perform. Ha! Hmm. I like your instrument there. That's pretty cool. Marcus. A born tycoon. He runs the station like a virtuoso. The fact that he lets me hang around. Why does he give me the tickets to faraway towns? When only the commuters can afford them now. I've known Marcus for 15 years and I'm still learning from him. Whatever he does, it works. From him and his station. No, for him. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Look who it is. It's a little subway. Oh, it goes around. Okay. Well, nice talking to you, buddy. I shall be on my way now. I like your music. It's nice. I would tip you if I could, but I don't think I have any money on me. So we'll just walk away. Yeah. Walk away slowly. Hopefully he's not following us. <laughs> nah, we're good, we're good. He seems okay. Alright, so let's go. Whoop. Some people talk to you, others talk amongst themselves. Aha. Uh -huh. So we gotta listen in. Nah, eavesdropping is so bad though. You shouldn't eavesdrop. It's a bad habit. Get close to objects to activate, use, or take them. Okay. Ooh, got some jazz. 
Okay. Ooh. Has a really good soundtrack. I mean, I've only heard a little bit, but still. <laughs> All right. Let's see, there's people over here. Oh. Honestly, it's about time we stop putting up with the status quo. Whoa, into the status quo. It's in the air. We have to start taking action. Action, total action. The time is now. Now. Right now. We can make a difference. Believe it. I totally believe it. We can't let ourselves be intimidated. Never. Not ever. Are they gonna turn if I get too close? We can't allow those in power to ignore our issues. Won't happen. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on. Okay, so she's like a protester or something. <laughs> Hear me out. Claire's a bell, loud and clear. Marcus doesn't control this city. Ah, he's not the boss of me. Nope. So Marcus is in control, sorta. Supposedly, but they say he's not. It's our in our hands. The time it's a, it's our time. Step up, step up. <laughs> okay, so it seems like he's the head of this area and they aren't having that. Honestly, it's about time we stop putting up with status quo. Okay, she's going over again. So can I get close to you? Can I talk to you? They're not talking. Hello. Can you talk to me, please? Yes, I believe the time is now. Yes, uh, we can make a difference. Why do you look like a mix between an elf and a vampire? You're weird. <laughs> just got that emo goth thing going on. <laughs> See, and this guy's just like, yes, yes. He's so intrigued. Look at him. And then this lady. She's shaped very funny. Why are you holding a skull? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> but she's so weird. It's like her head's really tiny. <laughs> That's so funny. And then this guy is just like, hmm. Like, yes. He's totally listening. And these guys, who are you? It's like an officer. And this guy's just chilling over here. <laughs> Can I talk to you? No? Yes? No? This guy seems upset and this guy seems tired or something. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Is this like a train ticket kiosk or something? Push? Should we push it? I'm not sure. Is this gonna open the doors? I'm gonna look over here. This dark corner secret alley area. I can't even see anything. The glare's too bright on my screen. Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Alright, so we gotta be thorough and make sure to check stuff. I think I'm hitting an invisible wall or something. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't want to fall in the water. But there is a boat here. Oh, it doesn't let me go down anyway. <laughs> invisible wall again. Alright, so, hmm. Let's go over here. I'm going to click. Let's push it! Whoa. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, look, tigers. They're so cute. And this looks like. It's making noise. This looks like trapeze. Artists and yeah, these are tigers. Okay, 
This is like an art museum. It's so cool. The whale. <laughs> Oh look, it's a ticket. Grab ticket piece? Sure. I to show or hide this ticket. I. See subject and conditions of use. See something or other. Okay. Well. I'll just leave that off for now. Let's look, take a look around. Hmm. Okay, Treehouse Brewing. Is that like a coffee place or something? Hmm. Okay, there's lots of different things to see. Very avant garde. <laughs> Snorkel. <laughs> okay, there's stained glass up there. There's a person here. <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. I like the style. It gives like a very like retro vibe. <gasps> look, fish. They're under there. Look. <laughs> okay. It's like a little garden of mushrooms or something. Hmm. Does it say other half? Okay. Look, this mushroom. It's like Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> See, there's one over here too, but I don't think I can do anything with these. Let me see. Nah. Ooh. Bigger fish. Okay. Oh, there's people down there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go talk to people or listen in. Let's see. It's like I just want to dance, like. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, here's the map. Okay, so we are under the whale. There's ramen. Uh, out in the front, there's the boats and swimming. Uh, music to the left and pizza. I always like pizza. Uh, binoculars, dice, and what looks like maybe ketchup bottle. <laughs> or I guess a beer bottle? I don't know. Uh, a record player thing. The subway is in front of me, uh, along with the cowbell. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess this is the ticket station, like directly in front of me. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, more music over here on the side, on the right. These little snake thingies, and another subway. Oh, maybe that's like the underground subway. So I guess the top is like a monorail or something? I'm guessing. Alright, so let's go ahead and look around. Wait, should we go to the left or the right first? I don't know, I kind of want to go to the right, but... The left looks... Uh, left looks scary. Let's go to the right. <laughs> no, the side looks scary too. It's all a little weird. Okay, let's see. Why don't we break even and go to the middle? <laughs> see. Honey, I'm home. Okay. I get it because honey, like a honeycomb. That's, that's clever. It's clever. Why is it sideways though? It's kind of weird. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, is that a person? Oh, there's a person here. Can I talk to you? Oh, he's reading. Excuse me, sir. I don't mean to interrupt. Oops. Hello? Hello. Wow, I'm really short all of a sudden. What? <laughs> uh, board game design. Interesting. Very interesting. It's like this could be like a artistic shot right there. I wish they give you a camera. That would be really cool, right? I'd take my own pictures. It's cool. Uh, okay. Triplets? <laughs> so it looks like. Ooh, they're looking at me. They're following the direction that I'm moving. Okay, can 
Can I talk to you? Can you not talk to me? Can you talk? No? This one's reading. She's like moving her feet. Okay, I'm just gonna back away slowly. You're kind of creepy. Okay, we'll come back to you. Uh, let's... Oh, let's check out the Roman. Let's go here. Looks good. Oh, there's another ticket piece here. I used to be a viola player. I was first chair, first stand in my country youth orchestra. But I had my eye on the conductor's podium. Ooh, ambitious. Things being how they are, I sold my viola. Aww. But making ramen became a way to channel this old desire. The noodles are my string section. Each strand emits a textual, unified sonority. Pork or chicken, the brass section. <laughs> the protein of any meat is a powerful and tonally dominant sustenance. Woodwinds are the glue of an orchestra. And so too are shallots, cabbage, spinach, seaweed in my ramen. Each leaf providing a nutritious unification to the desperate elements in the bowl. The boiled egg, a timpani of more protein. Corn kernel, the corn, corn kernels, the heart section. My broth is the music these instruments make together, steep slowly over 24 hours. Miso paste, chili powder, shoyu, all setting the key signature. When you eat this, you're setting the tempo with each slur. Hot sauce controlling dynamics. Three dollops and you're dealing with a fortimos, for, fortissimo, fortissimo. Each bite a few more measures in an unfolding symphonic narrative. But rather than filling an auditorium, it fills your bowl. That is very deep. Uh, okay, let's see, next conversation. He talks a lot though, and I don't want to run over time with this video. So before we continue talking to this guy, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there and we will continue exploring this new world uh, on the next episode and we will continue talking to this noodle guy and finding train tickets. So go ahead and let me know what you think about this game so far. Again, this game is called Off Peak. It's on Steam. It's free. It's a completely free game. And yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. So. Alright guys, so I will see you all later. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more crazy random goodness, then go ahead and click the links at the end. And I will see you all later, gamers. How appropriate, I'm playing an artistic game and drinking coffee.